Hello, my name is Paula Meyer. I'm a professor of pediatrics and nursing at Rush University Medical Center in Chicago. And it has been my pleasure to partner with the Family Larson Rosenquist Foundation in the creation of the Provide Compendium, which is a toolkit of education sheets and videos focused on the use of mother's own milk in newborn intensive care unit. So why do we need the Provide Compendium? It's because information that's available on websites or consumer books about breastfeeding for healthy full-term diets isn't really applicable to mothers and fathers who have babies in newborn intensive care. These families seek specific information about providing milk in the newborn intensive care unit setting, such as breast pump dependency, using a breast pump instead of having their babies feed at the breast, skin to skin care, the safety of medications when they're providing milk for a NICU baby, and feeding at breast, which is very different when you have a baby who's premature than full term. All of these and many other topics are included in the Provide Compendium. So the intent of the Provide Compendium is that it is used by the healthcare provider in discussions with the NICU family about the importance of providing milk or about specific components of the milk provision experience. They're not intended to be a standalone handout for families. They're to be used in combination with discussion and so that the healthcare provider can answer families' questions about the content. As such, when the healthcare providers are all using the same set of materials, it serves to standardize the messaging so parents get accurate information and they get the same information from everyone that they speak to. The other thing that is important when we standardize the information like this is that it can be the basis for any number of quality improvement projects, ranging from something as generic as increasing the use of mother's own milk in the NICU, all the way down to something more specific, such as the provision of oral pharyngeal care with mother's own milk in the NICU. In summary, the materials are not meant to be used as a standalone handout for families. Instead, they're to be a tool in the arsenal of the healthcare provider in the NICU to share the science about mother's own milk in a manner that is understandable by families and something that they can use in an actionable way. And finally, I want to thank once again the Family Larson Rosenquist Foundation for making this compendium of materials called Provide available.